So bear with me. Self on the worldwide market. We make sure to extend the deals, like, no, we make sure to extend the best deals, okay? We will be talking about one of the first. Um, and then of course the uh, passenger seat. Okay, it's going. All right, I'm glad we could make a deal. So, you to you know, think what you want. If specifically, the GTE. Making a completely life life. He then switched his focus. The Toyota Corolla was already Toyota on our list of top 30 weirdest. Uh... So come by, bye. It can be a V2. And until vehicle updates that would happen over the next European markets. To mark the 100 year. Drove it for her and there are photographs of this being happened. The Toyota Corolla tops the best-selling nameplate of vehicles Okay. <laughs> <That's just a> <laughs> Hello. So come by for <laughs> So this was Sean Kelly again. Just wanted to show everyone how um uh, crap. called handicap access feature. Or some sort of hipster then let's jump forward to 1997 when the Corolla earns the top 62 Tokyo Motor Show. Not really. <laughs> I'm kind of in the middle of something right now. Uh, yeah, I mean, do you think we can touch base on that Monday? I was doing good. Oh my God. Where the main character, Takumi Fujiwa, representing himself as a female model. 44.1 Corollas. A slave fought. Can you hang this up? <laughs> Thank you. All right. Uh, right next to Red Robin, and um, definitely want to come. So come by for a high Sierra country at 240. You know what that means? 22,000. Jiro Kawano was given head of a team to make number eight, the Toyota Sarah. And so all I'm saying is. Require or schedule on trust. Uh. Naming a, the Corolla has earned that spot and sticks up close. They were manufacturing a prototype vehicle that the, uh, make it awesome for having to cart version of the 2JZ. For three years, it's not. <laughs> MRI falls at number six for the Toyota. And it's in the top 15 best-selling vehicles every year since 1997. And uh, there's way too many bloopers for how long of a video this is. create some of the most ambitious and the car enthusiast. This vehicle was also, Toyota would bring over their Helix or Hilux truck. We have plenty right now, or if you're interested in a 2021 model, keep an eye out at our website, Fred Horse Toyota. Blah, 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 blah. Numerically, the best selling Corolla and all other varieties of worldwide. Are the car enthusiasts on a budget would be very influential reader of Toyota when it comes to luxury, driver performance, and used, certified. 
that's not consistent, of course, as you know, different sample sizes are going to re result in different results. Tree shoppers and be and be marketed in supermarkets. But on May 18th, it was announced digitally due to the COVID within height width. Akiko Waba, Wababayashi. I guess it has to do with. If you want to, to have kind of a weaker model, or is it simply referring to any normal spot? 0.8 million trucks sold in front of the car and the direct. The base example, but not only that, meet Toyota's first sports car. Toyota's first sports car, meet the viewer. Successful and very high performing model. There are several. Rear wheel drive typically are more for performance vehicles or. Descents 2.0, I said. There are several in public. Trivia for you, the Sienna was actually the only. Oh no. Are we out of battery? The RAV4 and of course, in a convertible and coupe, porting it could set you back as low as six. Crockett, is that a thing, guy? Front wheel drive, it had all wheel drive options. Why is this happening? So torque. Sean Connery. Patience, Highlander. You have done well, but it will take time. So, of course, on this episode of Toyota History Tuesday, we're going to be talking about a model that is near and dear to my heart, the Toyota Highlander. Rocky, is that a dingo? Blue collar workers that I've mentioned in this episode already. Where did they come from? Where did they go? Where did they come from, Cotton Eye Joe? In other markets, it's known as the Estima in Japanese and affordable vehicles. But, well, why was that? Or, very lo or a lower level, something like this was a Japanese exclusive market, but. Very few of them had left side steering wheels that are the second longest. Patience, Highlander, for you have done well. No four. Saying, Crocky, is that a dingo? And that was the predecessor to the Toyota Sienna. Inspiration, this little micro. They'd be like, all of these vehicles are known for their reliability. A few of them have one or two things. And of course, the fifth one is the gold paint in 2000 GT that was gifted to Twiggy uh, for her modeling the 2000 GT's production debut. You may ask, well. Crock, is that a dingo? I, E. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. I don't really think very many at all. This episode of Toyota History Tuesday, we're talking about the Toyota. Peter Nelson, owner of the museum, stars rating from the instant. Most of them being manufactured in the Japanese. You're at Fred Haas Toyota Country. And not too many people do it. Low price tag, low miles, but also produced by the Japanese. 